You know, this series, 50 and Fierce, has been a true blessing because so many of you have sent us really lovely messages and you've given us some great advice. Now, we've talked about how to face the Big 5 emotionally. Now it's time to look at physically. What does today's 50-year-old need to know to stay healthy and feel great? I decided to find out for myself. By the time you turn age 50, 70% of how you age is lifestyle. Ready? And go. This year, I started doing yoga. Take a healing breath in and a calming breath out. I've always tried to be health conscious, but now that I'm turning 50, it's time to tweak my routine just a bit more. I don't care how young or old I am, I can't stand doing push-ups. So I checked in with a trio of experts, nutritionist Rachel Beller, tennis legend Martina Naptilova, and Dr. Oz, to see if they could teach me a thing or two about health and longevity. For everyone out there who's turning 50, like you and I this year, it's a nice wake-up call to realize that we control our destiny more than any other generation has ever been able to control their destiny. A huge part of controlling one's destiny, making smart food choices. People always, when they turn 50, they come into my office saying, hey, hook me up with some vitamins. And they'll spend all this money doing all these things where really the cornerstone, the beginning, the foundation comes from the food that we eat. So you can think of these as your supplements, all right. and they're cheaper. I will love so. that. <laughs> Give us five key foods for 50. Fiber and omega-3s, especially in the morning. Dark chocolate, mm -hmm. the right kind, 70%. Broccoli, broccoli sprouts to spruce up those meals. Mm -hmm. uh, the anti-inflammatories, the turmeric ginger, along with the black pepper, mm -hmm. and omega-3s. Keep you shining and just really a uh, good energy booster. Oh. An energy booster is exactly what I needed. My next stop was the courts for a lesson with tennis great Martina Navratilova and now AARP's health and fitness ambassador. Oh, there's bombs! Come on, what's the matter with those legs? I know you're almost oh. 50, but really. Oh. oh, good get. My tennis game well, may not have been a winner, but I still got a prize, my AARP <laughs> card. You're looking fabulous, and yeah, 50 is the new what, 25, 35? Uh, oh, 35. 35. Let's, let's not be 35. greedy. 35. 35 uh, is good enough. My tennis lesson was tougher than I expected, so I wondered how I should change my game. Your workout routine, um, should it be a little more resistance training now at this age? That's the most important thing I started doing on my 50th birthday this year. I started getting much more diligent about pull-ups and sit-ups and push-ups and ensured that I wouldn't be frail. How much can you improve your life if at the age of 50, you start being more active. For the average American who changes their lifestyle at age 50, within three months, within three months, there are measurable differences in their life expectancy. Love yoga. Dr. Richard Besser is a member of our dream team of health experts and a part of the 50 Club. That's right. Welcome to the club. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, you've talked about it a lot and right. some of the things that you had to change. But let's start about with exercise, what yeah. you have to do. It's never too late to start exercise. People get, get, get overwhelmed by the thought of beginning. Talk to your doctor about how fast and uh, whether there's any restrictions. Your goal is, is to do two and a half hours in a week. But you can break that down into 10-minute blocks and build up to that. And as, as Mehmet was saying, resistance training becomes very important in terms mm -hmm. of building strong bones. And you've also talked about there are certain tests yeah. and some medical procedures you should go through when you hit that magical That's age. That's right. Yeah, at 50, there's certain numbers and tests you need to start paying attention to. First one is your BMI, your body mass index. That'll tell you whether your weight is appropriate for your height. Pay attention to your belly fat. Belly fat mm. is a big risk factor. Oh, yeah. Cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, those are the things that are going to put you at risk for heart disease, for diabetes, for stroke. You should know those. In, in addition, there, there's tests that you should be having done mm -hmm. that, that if you haven't done them yet, start, start now. Colon cancer screening. Uh, for everybody, mammograms for women, and, and men should be talking to their doctors about prostate cancer screening. These are all things that we should know, and as you said, talk to your doctor. Thanksgiving is a special day that you want to share with us. Yes. What is that? The Surgeon General has called that National Family History Day. You're getting together, you're celebrating. It's a time you can gather some information because at mm. 50, that's when your family history is going to start to catch up with you in terms of health risks. So you're Pass the turkey and tell me a little bit about your family history at the same time. That's right. It's so easy to gather that information, and so few people have that. You know, if you, if you go on to Twitter, at Dr. Richard Besser, I'll mm -hmm. give you a lot more tips about this. You've got to tweet this man. He will give you all the info. Thank you, Rich. And for a checklist of the medical tests that men and women over 40 should take, go to our website at abcnews.com slash GMA. You can also tweet Rich. You also get information for creating your own family history. Plus, watch as, um, well, we're going to continue to learn more about being our best at this point in our life.